one seven three, and of course uh, the reactions in the Spanish press. Not surprising. Un equipazo, a great team, and una ruina. Uh, I don't think you need to translate very much there. Stuart, you called this match um, yesterday. You saw it live. I mean, Atletico Madrid, we'll give them all the time in the world later, mm -hmm. but we got to start with Real. What happened? Well, they approached the game badly. They looked unfit. They looked disorganised. It doesn't look as though the coach has been doing any work tactically with them. They made bad decisions on the ball. When the ball changed hands... Atletico Madrid were breaking forward at pace. Real Madrid's players, their recovery runs were so slow and so ponderous, it was so easy for, for Atletico Madrid to score. If you looked at the front players, they couldn't get in the game. The understanding between Nacho mm. and Ramos. Ramos is an experienced player. Balls were being played. In, Diego Costa was making run after run. He was getting in between the two centre-halves, running in behind. Now, what I expected after five or six minutes, when they're already 2-0 down or, 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 and the game's not going their way... Ramos to start rallying the troops, saying, come on, we've got to get our foot in, we've got to be strong, we've got to be determined. The coach on the side, Zidane, starting to get annoyed with one or two players and, and, and showing that he was concerned. It got worse and worse. They could have been 8 nil down in that mm -hmm. first half. There was a lack of organisation, lack of fitness, a lack of desire. I think Real Madrid have got serious problems. Shaka, can you just chalk this up to... Pre-season and throw it out no. the window, or was it worse than that? No, the, 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 the disparity between the two, I, I think, suggests a, a whole lot more. We had Santi Solari in, in, in the booth with uh, Stewart at, and Ian Dark at one point, and Santi saying quite clearly that Atletico further along in, in their own uh, pre-season preparations. But unless I was sadly mistaken, these two teams played in the same mm. exact league. Mm. So I don't understand why they're this far apart. And the truth is, listen, as much as we've spoken about Atletico Madrid and Diego Simeone's importance to them, and this team taking on his, his personality almost, they're the ones with a number of new players coming in. Mm. And you felt that if there was going to be a bit of a settling in between these two teams, it would be in Atletico with the new faces and having to adjust it to Diego Simeone. Zidane was in charge of, of Real Madrid back end of last season. They know him. Most of the players in this dressing room played under him a couple of seasons ago. So for them to look that poor is, is without question concerning. For Atletico Madrid to look this good this early under Diego Simeone, everybody in La Liga needs to sit up and take notice. If you're Zidane right now, how worried are you heading into this season after that game? I'd be really worried. Um, my view, from what I've seen, I've seen lots of preseason games. I've seen uh, lots of games that are competitive. This was a competitive game. There was 50, 60,000 people there. It should have been competitive. And when they went 2-0 down and the manager couldn't change anything, the players couldn't change anything, they looked unfit, they looked disorganised, they looked disinterested, there's major problems. Zidane... I think won't last more longer than a couple of months. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+.